Hi, in this tutorial we're going to look at how to use a pinch gesture on an image view. So for example, what our application will do once we're finished is we'll have an image view and we will be able to use the pinch gesture to zoom in and zoom out on our image view. So to get started, let's create a new project in Xcode. So I'm going to create a single view application and I'll click next and I'm going to name this pinch and the only thing I'm going to have checked is automatic reference counting and then I'm going to click next and save my project. Okay now the first thing I'm going to do is go into interface builder and set up my interface. So I'm going to add an image view and then I'm going to scale it down a little bit so that we can zoom in and zoom out. I'm also going to check in the attributes panel and make sure user interaction and multiple touch is checked off. And now I need an image, so I'm going to drag an image into my supporting files. Okay, and then I'm going to make sure that I check our copy items into destination group folder and finish. And then I'm going to set up my image view to use that image. And next I'm going to add a pinch gesture recognizer to my image by just dragging it from the objects panel and putting it right on top of my image view. And you can see here that it's added, but it doesn't really look like it's associated with the image view. So you can always double check by right clicking on it and you can check to see what it is connected to. So we can see here that it's it's connected to our image view. Next we need to create a method to handle the pinch gesture. So I'm going to open up the assistant editor and I'm going to right click and drag from the pinch gesture recognizer into my header file. And I'm going to create an action so this will be connected to an action that will handle when the pinch gesture is recognized. And so this action I'm just going to call handle Pinch. and I'll click connect and while we're here we're going to set this up so that we can specify more specifically that we're passing in a UI gesture recognizer as the sender so I'm going to revise this a bit let me go out of the utility panel just so that this looks a little better so we're saying it's a UI gesture recognizer as the sender and so I'm going to copy this and update it in the implementation file. All right, it made the, the method down here. So I'm just going to replace this. And at the same time, I'm going to move this up to the top of the screen just so we have a little more space in here and it's a little easier to work with. Okay, now we're still not finished in the header file. So still need to set up this view as an outlet because we are going to be referring to it for our gesture recognizer and what we want to do with it, like change the size and scale it. So I'm going to right click and drag from my image view into my header file and this is going to be an outlet and I'm just going to call this image view. So our gesture recognizer has been set up to our image view and it's also set up to go to the handle pinch method and we have our property set for our image view called image view. So now let's go into the implementation file and let's just see, we'll just do a double check, let me go out of the assistant editor so we have a little more room here. Let's just check and make sure that it's recognizing the pinch. So we'll just do a simple NS log statement that says pinched. So if we can test that on our image, I'm going to run this and we'll look to make sure that at least that part is hooked up correctly. Now to test pinching on the simulator, you hold down the option key and you get these symbols that show where you're pinching. And you left click and drag with the mouse and you can see down here in the output section as I'm doing this, we're getting the pinches, we're getting the log statement that the pinches are working. Okay, but of course this isn't very exciting, our image isn't doing anything, so 
we want to actually get our image to do something like zoom in and zoom out. So let's go back into our editor and I'm going to comment out our log statement and I'm going to paste in some other code in here. It'll be easier for me to just paste this in and then we can go through and explain what's happening than for me to type it in line by line for you. Okay, so the code that I just copied in, we're starting out with a couple of variables, a CG float, one for last scale factor and one for just factor. Now CG float is really just a type definition for a float, so it's a type def. To know whether it is a zoom in or zoom out gesture, we use the scale property of the UI pinch gesture recognizer. Now think of it this way, when you're pinching, if you, have, if you move your fingers 50% closer together, then the scale goes down by half or 0.5 and if you move your fingers wider apart, say twice as far apart, then the scale factor is two. So we're initializing the last scale factor to be one, which would be just as it appears in our interface builder file initially. So this is the scale factor of one. Anything that zooms in, the scale factor increases, and anything that zooms out, the scale factor decreases. So we're initializing it at one as a baseline. And we're getting what the current scale is of the sender. So we're assigning that to factor. And now we have an if else condition check. Now if the factor is greater than one, it means we're zooming in. And then we take our image view and we transform it using the CG Affine Transform Make Scale. Now, the CG Affine Transform represents how the points of one coordinate system map to points on another coordinate system. So when we scale it larger, it has to basically redraw the points on the screen. And when we pinch in, it has to redraw the points on the screen. So it's using the CG Affine Transform to handle scaling it larger and smaller. So this takes some parameters here, and you know what, I'm going to click in here and open up the utility panel. And we can see over here that it has the parameter descriptions. So we have the SX parameter and SY. So the first one is the, the scale of the x-axis, and then the second one, so this is the scale of the x-axis, and then this is the scale of the y-axis. So we're sending it the information of one plus whatever the current scale is of the sender. And then for the zooming out part, we're using still using the last scale factor, but then we're multiplying it by whatever the factor is that the object currently is. Now one of the tricky things about the pinch is it's not one single gesture. It's not like the tap where you tap it and it's done, or the swipe where you swipe it and it's done. It's a bit more complex because it's one continuous gesture. So we have to recognize or look out for when the pinch has stopped and what we want it to do when the pinching is stopped. So basically we have an if else and it's just getting the current state of what the scale is and leaving it at that current scale. So with all of that, let me just test this and we can make sure that all this works. Okay, now I hold my option key down and, and then I can scale my image up and then I can scale it back down. So that is using a pinch gesture.